Primarily right now, the, um, the focus for the government agencies is on-prem implementations, focused specifically on uh, infrastructure as a service. Um, in, in this go-round, anyway, uh, we see that the rest of the implementations going beyond infrastructure as a service and into tools like plat platform as a service are, are starting to pick up. But for this early implementations, early federal focus implementations, um, we're seeing a lot of infrastructure as a service on-prem uh, for now. The infrastructure service basically evolving government services from our old, you know, just basic virtualization and template template-based uh, provisioning of applications into infrastructure as a service, where we have, you know, already done a great job abstracting the underlying infrastructure uh, and then delivering the next-gen tools through point-and-click, self-service, governed-based type of uh, UIs, uh, and this is where we're seeing the the largest adoption of. Uh, the, the services today across the majority of uh, the agencies I work with. I have the opportunity to work uh, across several agencies and, uh, and uh, organizations across public sector uh, and one of the biggest concerns is not just how do I deliver my applications but how do I govern the deliverance of those applications. Um, so one of the big focuses that I, uh, that I or one of the, the big issue, the components that I focus on uh, the majority of the time is um, the governance of applications, uh, of self-service, um, because we can talk about, uh, you know, enabling self-service and, and delivering infrastructure as a service, but without that key governance component of it, uh, we tend to fail or, or at least have to deal with a lot of red tape. So focus, obviously, with security, compliance, um, you know, self-service, the, uh, the governance component is going to be a critical aspect of that and also helps ensure success.